More and more companies are installing technology to cut down on the number of spam phone calls. But as anyone with the phone can tell you, robocalls are still very much with us, as Daisy Gonzalez Perez tells us from our Washington bureau. It's called Stir Shaken, technology that the FCC started requiring phone companies to install last June that is supposed to block robocalls. It's helped, but only a little. Last June of 21, is a new law took effect. Basically all phone companies with a couple of exceptions had to install like robo detecting, robo call detecting equipment. And so that is what is probably led to part of the decline that we're seeing in robo calls. But you know, I don't know about you, but I still get way too many. More than one too many. A report released today by the US public interest group said that robo calls started falling after last June but that the drop has not been as steep as it should be. That's backed up by data from UMail, which tracks robocalls. It said spam nationwide fell from 4 billion calls a month last June to 3.6 billion in December, but that it had bounced back to 4.3 billion calls last month. Nobody needs to tell Steven Uig that it's still a problem. Robocalls are a real challenge for me right now. We have two elderly people in our family that require extra medical care, and so we have to take phone calls. And when you have new providers, I don't always know what the phone number is. He has seen some improvement, but it still has to be wary. My phone's getting better at telling me if it might be a spam, but I hate to miss a call from a medical provider. So they're very, very frustrating for us. That's why Mary said consumers still have to be on guard. Can't trust a text message. You can't trust a voicemail. Do not call it. Do not text back. Don't do anything. Look up the number independently. That's the most important thing. Even though thousands of phone companies have installed Stir Shaken, U.S. Perg says more have not done so or have installed their own software that may not be as effective. A lot of people who, they're very smart people, they're educated, they're savvy, but if they let their guard down for just a few seconds, they can fall victim to one of these scams. In Washington, Daisy gonzalez Betis, Cronkite News. Robotechs are not directly covered by the new regulations. Not surprisingly, Robotechs exploded over the past year, from $1 billion last July to $12 billion in June, according to the firm RoboKiller.